Welcome to Graphitorials. In today's tutorial, I will teach you how to make premium flyer designs in Photoshop. So, this tutorial is meant for graphic designers and beginners too. So, um, without wasting much of our time, let's get started. So, this is the flyer we are going to work on, and I will embed a link in the description so that you download every resources I used for this project so that um, you do it as um, I walk you through the process okay so let's um, continue so the first thing you're going to do is to create a new workspace so, so, so do so go to file new so I'll be using 10 by 10 inches resolution 300 inches RGB color 8 bit so you can leave the background white okay. zoom in to zoom in okay so go to file place embedded so this is the background so let's bring in the background so drag it hold shift and fit it to the workspace hit enter so the next thing you're going to do, let's close this. Go to file, place embedded. Bring in this picture. I've already cropped the picture. If you don't know how to remove background of any picture, you can check other tutorials in this um, in my channel. You will, you will find um, a video I I I show as in, uh, I described how um, I, I can how you can remove a background from a picture so let's continue so the rest you're going to do is um, so go to this uh, rectangle to so click and select it draw a rectangle like this rectangle like this so this is cool then you go to um, say shape fill okay select gradient so I already saved a gradient for it. Okay. So if you want to um, and double click on this uh, to, to open the gradient layer. So this is how I, I achieved the stuff. If you click here, you pick a yellow. So the color code is FF9D46. That's for the um, left side. For, for the right side, the color code is uh, ECC's 7 so that's the color for the, the last side okay so you can hit okay drag this um i want to use radia radia so radia change it to radia then drink drag this um the lighter parts up okay then hit okay okay so the next thing we're going to do is um to add uh, the, um, the designs okay so Press Ctrl T on your keyboard, right click, skip. Okay. So hit OK. Hit OK. So let's bring, let's start bringing in um, designs. Okay. Change this to normal black. I'll be using this um, lighter black. Okay, so this is this is the one I'm using. This is this is the color code 413 D3D. Okay. So hit OK. Ctrl T to transform. I click skew. Drag it out like this. Take it down. Then Ctrl T to transform, expand it a little, hit enter. So Ctrl J to duplicate it, bring it down, pick um, rectangle 2, make sure this um, 
layer is selected then go to this and remove the stroke okay go to this this one also and remove the stroke okay so let's change the color for this second one so let's pick color from somewhere here um, a different color so that so this is it so select this larger rectangle then go to view go to layer setting then expand this um, stroke a little this is cool okay. so let's um, then hold control and select these two shapes and control G and group them control J to duplicate it drag it down here I want it to be here somewhere here something like this then drag this under okay so this is okay like this so the next thing we should do is we'll duplicate this layer again take it here so we are here then bring this down okay bring this bring this down is done so then bring this picture up on the layer then control T to transform expand it expand it okay like this make sure your own is okay like this then hold control click on this layer this layer at the back pick the polygonal to polygonal laser to right click on it select inverse okay so once you click on select inverse go to let's select eraser to okay. select eraser to First, rasterize this layer. Like, click on it, rasterize layer, so that it will be editable. Okay. Then pick the um, eraser tool, then clean. Control D to the select. So that is that. Okay. So let's um, group this. Control D to to group it. Control S to save. Let's save this premium flyer. So guys, um, is today is the first time coming to my channel. Kindly go and subscribe. Then turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I drop new video. I drop video every week. I hope you have done that so let's continue so let's start uh, bringing in our test okay we are to transform reduce it to light extra lights control T to transform it okay. okay let's type in the other tests real estate urgents so let's change the fonts so let's use this i will also embed the links to download all these fonts okay which enter then click on this place and adjust this so that they will be together this is cool and set it under this control T transform expand it a little bit it's okay so hold control select these two control t transform 
expand it with data. Okay. So pick your test tool, highlight S dates, go to color and pick color from here. <coughs> Sorry. It's okay. So let's type in other tests. What? Let's change the color code to black. Let's use um, this Monserrat Control T to transform. Hit Enter. Control T produce it a little. A little. Let's see how bold will be. If it's too, okay, let's use bold Monserrat bold. Okay, so. Duplicate this real estate agents. See, bring it down. Pick the test tool, highlight it, then write our services. Control T to transform. Adjust it. Hit enter. Let's set it in place. Accelerate the test tool. Pick, open the color and pick color from this. See how it's going. So let me just bring in the these tests. Like two more at a time. Let's just copy and paste country T to control V to paste. Sorry. Select Mustarat Hold. Change this P to capital P. Then hit enter, hit enter, hit enter. Hit enter. Okay. Control T to transform. Expand this a little. Bring this down. Pick the test tool. Control T to transform. Increase it a little. Hit enter. Control T. Reduce it. Hit enter. So let's bring in um, shapes so that so this is the shape I'm using. This is the shape. So I want to use it as a bullet for this test. Push yes and go. So let's change the color. The color from here. Remove the outline. So this is it. Take this up. Hold out and drag it to duplicate it as a um, shortcut for duplicates instead of using ctrl j you can, you can easily hold out and drag then align them to the center take it back then group it what we do and services ctrl g to group it then Group these two, Ctrl G to group it, Ctrl S to save it. Okay, always save so that you will lose your work if your system of Photoshop crashes. Okay. So I selected this process and our services, then sorry, sorry, sorry. So let's duplicate this what we do and uh, services. These two, Ctrl J to duplicate it. Take, uh, take it out um, from the folder and bring it down. Ctrl T, transform, reduce it a little. Then move this, then set it very well. Ctrl T, transform, hit OK. Uh, 
have an idea have an idea our projects project Select these two again. Okay, so, sorry. And have an idea. Duplicate it. Control J to duplicate it. Bring it down. Change it to get in touch. Get in touch. In touch. This is cool. So I click on this big rounded rectangle. Then drag and drop it yeah rounded corner make it 60 change the color to this big color from here then remove the outline so let's type in uh, the number there was uh, Ctrl T to transform. Hit OK. So bring this down. Ctrl J to duplicate it. Bring this down. www.website.com. Ctrl T to transform, hit enter. So this is it. Ctrl S to save. So I highlight all this, excluding the picture. Picture group, then Ctrl T to transform, then increase it a little. Hit OK. So move it closer a little bit. Ctrl S to save. Hold Ctrl and Shift. Then press S to save as. Or you can go to File, Save as. You can go to this file, File, Save as. You can also work. So this flyer is done. Premium flyer. So this is the end result of. Uh, this tutorial this is the final result so guys thanks for watching uh, if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel then turn on notification bell so that you get notified anytime i drop a new video thanks for watching see you guys next time bye